<clears throat> Hello guys, good evening, good evening everybody. Good evening all the members in the house. Good evening, nice to see all the members in the house. Good evening everybody. Okay, chalo, let's get started. Let's get started with the day number two everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Very nice to see all you guys in the house. The time right now is 8.03 p.m. Okay? Please mark a quick poll if you attended yesterday's session. Like right now we see 87 members have said yes. 87 percentage has said yes. 13 has said no. So I would recommend you to go through the yesterday's session as well. Very important topic in order to get the job. Chalo, chalo guys, everybody. Okay, time is running out. We need to get started with today's topic. Okay. Now, before we get started, I'm enabling the quick chat. As part of that, could you please specify which year of passing do you have? Okay. So I'm just specifying here. Uh, anybody? Okay. Yeah. Enable. The chat is enabled. Okay. Please comment. Please say your year of passing. Everybody put it into chat your year of passing. Some very important discussions we are going to do today based upon your year of passing. Everyone, please mention it. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> 2025 wale bhi aage, bhai, <laughs> Okay, 2023. Okay, 22, 3, 3. Okay, we can see multiple things. Hmm. Okay, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Please put in your year of passing. Okay, we see there are people across 23, 22, 21. Okay, 22s, 24s. Okay, so basically majority we are seeing from 21, 22, 23. There are a few 2019s as well, 2020 as well. Okay, so lot of people across lot of sections. Okay, 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 fine. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, now there are a few very important things which you need to focus upon. Okay, when from IT company perspective, uh, some key criteria about what kind of people are going to be shortlisted for getting in for interviews. Okay, so like we see, there are people from different different year of passing. So yes, we have considered, and I will try to really put today's this beginning of the session from the perspective about how your year of passing is going to impact your hiring and what you should do in order to improve your chances for getting hired. Okay. So it's going to be really very important. So for a moment, let's park this comments for now. Okay. So that we can focus on the session and then we will keep turning it on and off as the session progresses. Okay. Okay. Fine. Let me share the notepad. Okay. Here it is. Please understand, as part of today, we will be focusing on two primary things. One is the shortlisting criteria of the company. Okay? Many of the employees or candidates, they don't really understand or think from the perspective of the IT companies. And because of that, maybe we are not getting shortlisted. So we need to really understand how the IT company shortlists people. And then you have to measure yourself. Ki, are you up to it or do you need to make modifications in the way you are positioning yourself? Those all things are very important because if you're not doing it properly, uh, you will really get struggled in order to get shortlisted by the IT companies. Okay? So first thing will be what company looks for and on what basis we do the major shortlisting. So we will be focusing upon that. Okay? After that, we will spend only very uh, fraction of time today on discussing some key insights on resume okay today i am not going to share you to how to build the resume i will like you to uh, explore it by yourself tomorrow i will guide you on how you can build your own resume today i will share you those techniques so tomorrow do some hard work from your side because once you do the analysis you will be able to better prepare your resume and then tomorrow we will give the solution of how you can make an effective resume Okay. So today we will give you assignment and task. You take that and do the homework from your side of how you can build a very effective resume for yourself. Okay. 
and then tomorrow session we will show you how to do that as well and then that's how we will be taking it forward okay okay fine chalo let's get started guys everybody focus full on on the session don't be distracted don't listen here and there yes ipl matches are going on but focus on the session because this is going to give us job and yes let's try to get maximum value from each and every minute okay chalo let's get started everybody let's get started <clears throat> okay now like we see based upon the year of passing from multiple members okay there are 2024s threes twos ones multiple members across different category we are able to see it in chat okay i will tell you first of all how a ideal real journey of a candidate should be nothing but from the time you are passing out from your college or maybe you are into the final semester in your college what should be your exact track for getting the job because many people don't get this so if today we spend with this i think the maximum people who will get benefited to start with is 2024 pass out people why because all the technique that we will discuss today the entire plan is in front of you you can execute that full plan and you can get the job pretty uh, quickly as per the discussions that we have so it's going to be really useful for all the 2024 pass out people okay now comes while we are discussing this entire road map of 2024 about how your next 3 months should be 6 months should be 1 year should be 2 years should be parallelly it covers all the other people who are right now maybe with 2023 2022 or earlier pass out so automatically while we are discussing this journey these all the members will also get the clarity oh what am i supposed to do right now in order to get the job quickly okay because these guys are already now lagging behind they did not get the job and still they are in the market hunting for the job so we need to really make sure that we do the right things which increases our probability for getting the job so this is how it is we will start with this journey and then on you guys can all relate okay what am what are we supposed to do in this journey of job hunting theek hai this is what it is chalo maza aayega it's going to be pretty excited so guys are you ready for it theek hai if you are ready for it just give a few thumbs up likes hearts whatever in the youtube and we will get started everyone very important discussion how the it industry shortlist and how exactly you should position yourself if you are ready for it just give a few thumbs up likes whatever available on youtube okay let's go okay so listen through every single word that we discuss don't be distracted anywhere it's going to be a game changer a lot of mistakes people are doing we will be solving all of that in the next 15 20 minutes theek okay? hai chalo nice good to see all the hearts and people are geared up that's pretty good that's pretty good whatever emoji showcases your enthusiasm and mood put that up <laughs> we can see this thing happening here okay chalo guys let's focus let's focus theek okay? hai first thing which you need to understand okay first thing which you need to understand guys we always have seen this thing in the market ki companies are always saying we want to hire experienced people experienced members rather than fresher and then freshers say okay come on how is it possible first give us job then we will do it and then how like if everybody is looking for experienced members who is going to take care of the freshers all this kind of chaos is always there right okay now let's understand from the perspective of it companies okay, what exactly is happening forget your fresher perspective guys because if you are uh, trying to really get the job you need to start thinking from the perspective of the companies Okay, why they are doing what they are doing 
and then you need to solve that so that you get hired your vision is very narrow only from a fresher perspective you don't really see the other side of the game so we need to now change the uh, focus think from the point of view of it companies then you will understand what they are doing why they are doing and then you can plan your actions accordingly and this is what everybody knows in this call right now companies are saying we want to hire experienced people rather than freshers be it even one year of experience two years of experience juniors but freshers nahi lenge we want experienced people okay you know why this is an honest observations okay the simple thing is fresher is not ready to work in the it industry that means your technical capability of whatever you learnt in your college or maybe wherever it is not ready to do real time work in real time projects not ready for that okay and now you need to understand when a fresher is hired and you are added to the project now let's say it is a two member team and plus now a new fresher is added the first statement is fresher is not ready to actually work on the project skill wise understanding wise about how to build the systems how to write the code fresher does not have that knowledge and now you are added to a team let's say a two member team or a three member team or three developers i'm saying okay three developers and then you are added and then there are testers so let's say two testers so what exactly is happening here guys is all of a sudden the clients will start saying okay come on earlier there were three developers now you hired one more developer for which client is paying the money and these guys are not able to like i am expecting work of four people now but freshers are not that fully ready but client is saying i want i'm paying for four people give me the work of the four people and then what happens guys the other three guys who could have delivered more one of them has to spend more time in guiding the fresher mentoring the fresher coaching the fresher his productivity also comes down and then this guy is also very new not really understanding what to do how to code and how to work in the projects what starts happening is even if there are four people earlier three people were working more faster now the productivity is less than three people at least for the next six months of time the productivity is going to be less than three so now you can understand from the perspective of it company hiring a fresher is actually slowing down the system and that is where comp and clients are then complaining about it they are like without freshers you can be more faster so why are you hiring these guys who cannot deliver then things properly <laughs> i guess now you understand the mess that is happening here okay now if you think from a fresher perspective yes all your arguments are right okay you should get an opportunity then only you will learn everything but thoda sa you need to think from the perspective of the client and the company okay having a fresher who is not ready to work is basically a time kill and slowing down the other people deadlines are coming faster and clients are complaining okay come on what you guys are doing so that is the reason it companies say rather than hiring a fresher let's hire somebody who has some experience so that so much of spoon feeding is not required for these people guys dekho this is the problem how to solve the problem we will come to it but first we need to know the problem okay yes why this is a problem now you can understand because freshers are not ready so the solution will be if you become ready without much of spoon feeding to work on actual real projects you will be a very valuable resource and it will help you in interviews cracking and even on the job so you need to become now valuable because market may majority of the freshers are not good and that is where it is drawing conclusion okay let's hire somebody experienced person so this is the problem which we need to solve if you cannot solve this problem life is going to be hard in shortlisting and even cracking the interview and working on the project also
ठीक है स्टेप बाय स्टेप समझते हैं फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम्स देन वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट सॉल्यूशंस एंड देन यू हैव टू इंप्लीमेंट दोस सॉल्यूशंस ठीक है तो पहले प्रॉब्लम समझते राधर देन सिटिंग ब्लेमिंग क्राइंग नॉट गेटिंग नॉट गेटिंग लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई आर वी नॉट गेटिंग देन व्हाट शुड वी डू एंड देन यू डू इट थ्री स्टेप्स कर लोगे लाइफ इज गोइंग टू बी सॉर्टेड ओके एंड नाउ यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज अदर थिंग्स कि व्हेन देयर आर दीज आईटी कंपनीज बिग एमएनसीज MNCs are going to campus, doing campus drives, hiring people. Okay, do you know this thing? All these big companies, when they hire people from campus, maybe directly from campus, off campus, on drives, they initially put the freshers into a training program of maybe three months to six months of time. Why? Because it is required for them to have that kind of training because college has not trained us enough. so it needs around 3 to 6 months where they are not even allocated to any project they are only being trained so you can imagine it actually takes that much of time for a fresher to become ready in order to start working in the it industry otherwise it's going to be a problem all the big companies do this accenture infosys you take the names all the big companies have a nice criteria and now you need to understand when the market is tough the way it has been currently in the past one year in the past two years where some recession is happening some layoff is happening then it becomes a problem mncs that is the reason mncs are delaying the hiring even if they go to campus they are like okay roll the offer but we cannot get you onboarded trying to push it because client is not going to pay for these freshers early and for 6 6 months 9 9 months only training there is no business happening so mncs are also delaying the hiring because instead of 6 months training now maybe 9 months to 1 year tak jayega because client is not going to get them on to the project because recession is there in the market tough times are there now you can imagine if mncs who have so much of money if they are hesitating what happens to the mid scale companies and small scale companies they don't have that much of time 3 months and 6 months to train the freshers they don't have the time as well as the budget to put on fresher unnecessary training when clients are not willing to pay and then they are slow so you can imagine when the market is going through layoffs and recession times slow times these things become even more problematic and that is the reason market is hesitating ki freshers are not ready first of all they need 3 months to 6 months to get trained to be ready and after that if there is recession layoffs it will take more time for being allocated to the project it is actually slowing down everything and that is the reason market mein there are problems currently so you need to understand the other side of the game not just you companies want to hire you companies want to hire fresher but client should be willing to pay money for that in the real world when can client pay the money if his projects are being consumed somebody else is paying money by using the services okay any e-commerce client if they have customer who are purchasing the money then client has the money then client will pay to the technical team when recession happens people don't spend money in the real world they don't buy products because of that client is not having the money to pay to the technical team and then the client says okay slow down the technical development we are okay to work with even two developers don't hire four developers so that is what is called as recession is there in the market because people are not ready to buy and sell stuff and that somewhere impacts the it companies because they cannot pay to the employees and then that impacts layoffs and recessions so yes times are hard but the thing is if you don't self learn in this hard time and if you wait for it companies to come and train you nothing is going to happen for you because by default companies are not spending that much time in training the guys and that is where do you really understand this there are many interview panels what they are saying is if you want to hire even let's say for intern or a fresher they need to have mandatory project in the resume 
if there is no project don't shortlist don't hire don't bring them for interview also because they are not ready if they have not worked in a project like they don't even know anything basically so interview panel is making this so much mandatory if you want to hire somebody at junior fresher level or even an intern level they need to have a mandatory project without that don't shortlist their resumes these kind of instructions are passed to the interview hiring panel not only your project people are saying if you want to hire somebody at this junior level mandatory internship is needed because many of the colleges in your college time itself is providing internship opportunities you are supposed to do that as part of your final semesters itself so companies are saying ke bhai those who do those internship consider only such resumes all the freshers who have done some internship consider such resumes worst case if they have not done internship they should have a mandatory project if they don't have a project not done internship don't hire such people don't even shortlist such people that's it all the resumes 70% people resumes are just discarded because they have not exposed themselves to this kind of knowledge and guys why company is okay to discard it because in the market there are so many other options so many colleges so many employees so many freshers trying to get the job so for company this is not a problem they can simply discard and they still have thousand more of people who are ready with maybe projects and internships so for them there is not challenging the challenge becomes for you guys who are not ready and you will keep getting discarded 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 because you have not grown you are that raw product which needs next 6 months of proper training then you will become ready for working on any of the assignments of the industry and this is the problem statement if companies cannot train you small scale medium scale whatever and then the question becomes can you train yourself if you can train yourself and get somehow get project opportunity technical skills then companies are willing to hire you if you cannot train yourself companies are like those who cannot take care about themselves why should we hire them let's go for other guy who is more serious about their career who can invest time and efforts on self growth because market is tough there are lot of people available we need to hire the best those who are putting time and efforts on self development those are considered good people compared to the rest who is not even willing to work hard so please understand when recession layoff low time comes in companies hesitate to invest money in training freshers that is where they are not hiring that is where they are cutting it off now comes the problem if companies cannot invest the fresher should self invest in themselves to learn and upgrade because if you cannot do this companies are very well saying okay we don't want to hire such people now that means first we understood as part of today's session learning is important and companies might not even train you you have to self learn things by yourself this is what is the game you are into yes it is mess yes lot of chaos is there in the market but yes this is the challenging time that we are into where you have to now start doing your self growth now comes the question what exactly we will be doing okay what exactly we will be doing here it's pretty simple guys all the 2024 pass out people okay all the 2024 pass out people ek road map dete one solution we will talk about all this problem okay, what should be your next next steps once you figure that out everything is going to be sorted darna nahi hai this is a problem this is a challenge we need to spend time to understand it then think okay how do we solve this come up with ideas and then work towards those ideas then you will be able to solve it without knowing the problem what are you going to solve you will just sit and cry market is bad hiring is not happening market is bad are 
<laughs> there are some ways by which you can still get hired. You need to figure that thing out. Okay? That is what we are going to do today. Okay, chalo. <clears throat> What exactly we should do? First of all, all the 2024 pass out people. Your focus should be, they go, better understand this thing. Okay, please, please do understand. This is something again, very critical. A lot of people go wrong. Some of you might be 2022 pass out right now. Right? Still in your resume, you are saying, Okay, I want to apply job as fresher. Right? There might be some 2021 pass out people saying we want a job as a fresher. They go, what is the definition of fresher? From your perspective, yes, you have not worked on any project. So yes, you have not worked in the IT industry. So you're calling yourself freshers. So from your perspective, it is correct. But from the company's perspective, IT industry perspective, the definition of fresher changes. You are considered a valuable fresher only for one year. Till the time next batch freshers are not there in the market. Okay. So let's say if I'm a company, I'm opening a job and I'm saying okay, we are hiring freshers. Okay. So basically, from whoever applies to us, our priority becomes the recent people will be considered first. 2024 will be considered because now these guys are going to get passed out maybe in a few months itself. All the 2024 people will be in the crowd. Everybody who is going to pass out in 2024, when IT says we want fresher, we look for recent pass outs. And maximum we go one year bigger. Nothing but we will go for 2023. Okay. Now, there are still a few months left for 2024 to be fully aggressively in the market for uh, uh, like doing the job hunting and everything. So for the next three months, six months, we might consider 2022. But as time passes by, let me tell you, if more 2024 freshers start coming in the market, Whenever there is a fresher opening, the priority of the IT company will be first to hire from 2024, then to hire from 2023 and slowly 2022 and earlier. Even if you say you are a fresher, apply for fresher jobs, companies will not be shortlisting you. 80% companies will simply discard your resumes because you are not recent in the market. So you need to understand. The definition of fresher is different here. It doesn't mean you who is fresh, who is not worked on any project. Companies don't think from that perspective. Company thinks when we say fresher, we want recent pass outs, not old freshers, because we can hire somebody with experience if they are earlier pass out. When we say fresher, we want fresh guys, somebody who is latest from the college, excited, wanting to work, trying for it. You can imagine if, now think from this perspective, if two years, 2022 pass out people, if it has been two years, in two years, if you did not get the job, maybe you're not really good. That's a valid question IT industry is asking. If somebody cannot get a job in two years, still trying as a fresher, if somebody cannot get a job in three years, still trying as a fresher, maybe they are not good. So why to spend time and energy to interview people who are maybe not good when you have better options in the recent pass out? So please understand, you cannot just keep applying, uh, saying I'm fresher, hire me, hire me. They will not even shortlist you because the focus goes to the recent pass outs when they say fresher. So if you still keep calling yourself fresher, let me tell you, you will not be shortlisted and companies will not even call you no matter how many skills you have, how much you apply because you're positioning yourself wrongly. You need to understand this. Not many people are understanding and they are spending time and efforts and energy and applying for thousands of jobs. Guys, shortlisting will not happen. 
The simple reason is when company says fresher, we want recent pass outs. There are very few companies, very few, maybe few, maybe 5% or less who might say, okay, we are okay with 2022 pass out 2021, but very few will be there. 95% will go ahead for the recent pass outs. What does this mean? The approach of job hunting for each of the year should be different. You are 2021 person saying as a fresher, applying for fresher openings, nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. No matter if you have project, you, no matter if you have internship, nothing is going to happen because the perspective, what market says 2021 means three years old, two, three, four is there, three years old. Comparing yourself to freshers, three years old person. IT industry says, rather than you, we will hire somebody who is recent, man. Why to hire such a person who is three years old? Okay, so please understand, just your perspective does not matter. You have to think from the company perspective and company will think, okay, when we say fresher, we want recent. If somebody is old, trying for freshers, let's not consider that. Ek ye bhi rehta hai, guys, right? Do you really know this thing, right? The impact of failures and rejections, the self-confidence of the people who are earlier pass out, that is going to be broken. They will be like, since past two years, I'm trying and still I don't have job. It kya hota, guys? Motivation is also broken. Self-confidence is broken. A doubt starts coming. Worry starts coming. Yes, everything is emotional. It is a breakdown. But that is what it is. Companies also understand that okay, these people, if they try as freshers, they are like maybe broken in their confidence right now. And if you're mentally broken, confidence is broken. Even if we hire such people on the project also, they will be more nervous, more scared. So companies know that it is human psychology. Somebody who is really broken down in failure, if you give them an opportunity on the project, when problem comes, they will be still scared because they were scared for two years. But if you are hiring somebody from recent, they have not tasted that much of breaking down. So they are boosted in confidence. Okay, give us the project. We will learn. We will do. So for that reason, company goes for these guys. Guys, are you understanding this? It might be harsh. But that is the truth. And guys, once you understand problem, then only you can solve the problem, right? Just imaginary world, if you stay, hire me, hire me, it's not going to work out. You need to understand the problem. Okay, what is going on in this world, where the opportunities are and where the opportunities are not there and why such people get and why such people do not get. Then you need to figure out your approach. Guys, I'm putting a poll. Is it making sense? Because if you keep doing the wrong things, nothing is going to happen. You try for next six months also. Smart thinking and intelligence is required. Okay, are you getting it? These are very important things. You might be, I have my resume, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's put it five, four, three. Let's put, what understanding are you getting? Five, four, three, five is the highest. Put it up, guys. Because if you don't understand this, guys, market may a lot of struggle is going to be there. It's going to be a nightmare. And that is what is happening for many people. Scared, worried, doubting, thinking maybe layoffs are there, market is bad. Are wo sab hai. But you are not understanding ke how to fix this problem. That is the challenge. You need to understand the problem, then come up with a solution and then fix it. Okay, guys, vote it. From 90, 192 people, we see 80 mem members have voted so far. At least let's reach it. Are we listening? Are we understanding? Okay, 93% says 5. That is pretty good. Problem samajna padega, then only solution will come. Otherwise, you will keep crying and blaming the market. We, success does not come like that. You need to understand problem. You need to think, what can you do for solution? Today, we will discuss the solutions. Very important topics. Okay, one triple one voted. Good, you guys are getting it. Okay, fine. Chalo, bahut ho gaya. Problem, problem, problem. Thoda, let's talk about solutions here. <laughs> uh, 
देखो गाइज डरना नहीं है यू शुड नॉट गेट स्केर्ड बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दिस बिकॉज दैट्स नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प एनी वन ऑफ अस इफ यू आर मोर वर्ड इट इज गोइंग टू कॉज फर्दर प्रॉब्लम इन योर जॉब हंटिंग वी नीड टू थिंक ओके फाइन प्रॉब्लम इज देर हाउ टू सॉल्व वॉट कैन आई डू एंड देर आर वेज there are ways we need to implement that we need to think through smartly we need to be confident we need to believe ke yes we can get the job and then apply the strategies and then we can get it theek hai what should be the approach let's hunt through that what's the solution of all this mess and what should all these people at different different experience segments do because same thing is not going to work a different approach is required what should we do okay theek hai chalo let's let's talk about the solution now dekho all the people 2024 pass outs generally whoever are recent guys coming up okay your immediate focus should become okay guys your immediate focus should become for trying for any fresher openings or internship openings if you're trying like as freshers you're not getting openings in the market start parallelly looking for internship opportunities your basic aim should be how early as possible i can work on any project this should be your target getting inside the it industry is the challenge once you get in then you can figure out ways your focus should be this how early as possible i can work on like project and for that yes you start like fresher but if it is taking time maybe a few months gone then along with fresher also look for internship opportunities okay yes earlier try to look for paid opportunities where there is some stipend but if it is not coming maybe unpaid is also fine okay anything try to but work on any possible project in some company so that you get some hands on experience about what these things are this should be your initial target doesn't matter paisa aa raha hai nahi aa raha in a long run you will make money it mein you will make money don't worry about that 2 lakhs 3 lakhs 4 lakhs 6 lakhs 8 lakhs 10 lakhs 12 lakhs 15 lakhs 18 lakhs 20 lakhs 25 lakhs 30 lakhs 35 lakhs 40 lakhs bahut paisa hai okay in a long run you will make money don't worry about that 6 months here and there is not going to cause problem even if you work free even if you work unpaid not a issue you will cover it up in a long run once you are gaining the experience don't worry about that yes first try for paid then this one now again where to find these opportunities yesterday we shared it in the stage 3 apply those things watch yesterday's topic again stage 3 ke andar you go ahead learning it Okay, what all are the ways? Daily spend one hour in those stage three related techniques. You will start listening through some uh, thing interview, some tips here. Okay, where you can get openings. Okay, yesterday we gave a list of five, ten uh, tasks which you can do in order to get interview opportunities as part of stage three. Yesterday's topic. Okay, fine. Now parallelly, guys. Today we spent so much time, ten minutes, to really explain. current freshers are not ready to work on direct project and that is where we are saying ke yes you you should try to get to the projects as early as possible that means along with your job hunting this is the job hunting you are trying to do daily spend maybe 5 hours or so in this job hunting daily try to get these opportunities maybe 5 hours of job hunting here daily 5 hours of job hunting we shared the entire system yesterday linkedin pe apply follow up for check the post apply follow up network emails and keep running 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 5 hours very easily you can do a lot of things every single day within one week lot of connections will be there kuch kuch hone lagega daily 5 hours of job hunting trying to get fresher and internship opportunities okay and at the same time you need to start preparing yourself preparation on skills okay now guys dekho already yesterday we said using chat gpt and all you will get the skills but let me break it down ideally any beginner is supposed to prepare in five areas one is the core and aptitude second real time projects always happen based upon frameworks so you need to have framework knowledge 
core is like let's say core java advanced java core and advanced java if from java perspective if we say if it is like uh, mm, node js or uh, front end related people then it is going to be javascript anything whatever is the basic of your programming you should know that and then some preparation for aptitude kind of things framework in the java world commonly spring and spring boot you need to start learning frameworks next you need to start working on projects how to implement these technologies into real time projects as part of day 4 guys day 4 i will explain you how to work on self project without anybody hiring you right from today onwards you can start working upon self project which is going to be a real time project without being hired people are not aware and that is where they are struggling in the resume they are not having project and like there are techniques without spending any money you can work on a real time project have it in your resume yes as part of day 4 we are going to explain how to do that theek hai fine people are not aware that is where mentorship is required so that they can take the right actions and get the job quickly okay fine so you need to work on core and aptitude parallelly ye chalega daily ke daily core and aptitude framework preparation start working on projects self projects or whatever okay after that daily coding practice guys theoretical times are gone you need to have good sound hands on coding knowledge algorithms data structures geek for geek course uh, whatever websites are available okay java ranch code ranch this that blah 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 in all of those websites okay coding practice are available free for everybody daily spending time and coding is required so you have to learn how to code stuff now there is lot of confusion in people people are saying ki are ai is there all the code is going to come from uh, the uh, ai tools itself chat gpt and another other things why should we really learn coding guys dekho these are like just same stories the grapes are sour angur khatte job you are not getting and you are coming with with excuses of not working hard that's not going to work out for you there are some projects where they are strictly saying don't use ai tools in such case what are you going to do second thing ai is suggesting code you are putting that code but what if that code is wrong and not relevant to your business you need to have the capability to understand that code modify that code make adjustments if you cannot do that and you take just only ai code and it goes to production something goes wrong there clients are going to catch your neck like anything you will be fired on the spot because of the blunder which can happen in the business so don't think without coding sahi ho jayega at least for the next 2 to 3 years even if ai tool comes in developers are supposed to have sound coding knowledge understanding modifying testing at least for the next 2 to 3 years it is going to be there we don't know what happens in future but for now don't come up with reasons for not working hard first of all we are not getting job and then we are framing reasons ke nahi nahi coding nahi karte it's hard and all that no it's crap you have to solve the problem not run away from the problem and i know how kind of coding happens in your colleges in our colleges i was also a student right copy paste karte hai <laughs> like okay bata bhai main bhi likhta hu coding assignment practicals how it happens in the lab without even understanding we mug up the code that is not how it industry works you need to think you need to use internet you need to write you need to understand code you need to really have maturity to code that you need to develop and there are so many websites available where they are training on code you go to chat gpt say give me the top 5 uh, coding websites it's going to give you create account and daily one hour start solving the problems okay there are some websites like code signal leet code geek for geek okay all these websites available and there are many more theek hai go to open account somewhere start coding this is the fourth area where you need to start preparing yourself without preparation guys i am telling you hiring is going to be really hard 
because companies are hesitated to invest time and money on training if companies cannot do it and if you also don't take care of yourself then market is hard job is not going to happen easily nahi milega if you are not willing to grow your own self chances become very minor so please understand that you need to do that because it is your career you cannot let the world guide your success you need to make your own success on this planet for that hard work is required yes paisa lagana padega time lagana padega you have to invest that time money and efforts here wherever free possible go for free wherever paid required paid but you need to do that because this will put the foundation for your career that's what it is theek hai and once you build these four areas it is going to take time it is not going to happen overnight it will take a few months of time maybe four months six months eight months god knows but that is where you need to start parallelly job hunting daily for getting opportunities plus working upon these things you should not waste time you should grow yourself in between somewhere opportunities will come you will crack it and you will get the job prepare for the action plan work towards that daily 10 hours 14 hours then see magic just sitting crying job nahi aa raha is not going to get it fine and the last area where you need to do preparation guys is your communication skills you should be able to explain your knowledge confidently to the interviewer we have heard from the top senior management of the company ki if somebody cannot explain things in interview simply reject those people even if they have knowledge these kind of instructions are provided to the interview panel if somebody cannot explain simply reject them okay the obvious reason is if you are having questions if you cannot tell me properly or if i have questions i am explaining you you are not able to understand and respond to me properly if you cannot do this basic communication to and fro you cannot even work on complex functional requirements projects get complex there are a lot of brainstorming discussions to and fro we keep doing all throughout the project life lot of things which has to be communicated very effectively if you cannot talk basic thing if something you know in your mind you cannot put it into words and convince others management is saying okay why don't hire such people who cannot do effectively talking and communicating so point is you have to grow you might acquire all the skills but if you don't know how to explain it it's going to cost you your opportunities in companies whether you like it or not this is the truth if you can accept it and work on improvement then you will improve and grow this is what it is so from all these people who are 2024 pass out right from tomorrow onwards you should start spending 5 hours daily job hunting for freshers from internship from any possible ways use the yesterday system apply follow up network on linkedin and parallelly spend the remaining 5 to 7 hours 7 hours in preparing yes yes daily 10 to 12 to 14 hours of efforts are required there is no shortcut my friend and the market is hard that is where it needs more efforts it's so much competition so much crowd and in that you are not willing to work hard guys market kha jayega <laughs> it will take away uh, everything from you if you cannot work on yourself so you have to put this extra things and guys let's say those who can really put that efforts they will grow so much strong that throughout their life they will always succeed not only right now but if you can overcome this challenging time you will always be a winner always throughout your life because you know you are not scared of hard work you are doing that hard work smart work long hours of work applying thinking strategy believing in yourself working towards your goals magic will happen in your life but if you fail in this situation you never know when will you get this another challenging opportunity to really grow and become a better person so take this positively all the members 2024 pass out should start spending time here and start spending time here guys clear give a quick thumbs up
within a few months magics will start happening something something will start happening okay give a quick thumbs up why we spend so much time in preparation because all the other years also have to do that preparation <laughs> that is where well. okay okay fine we are getting thumbs up we are getting 100 percent yes that's pretty good okay now just start imagining okay pretty good pretty good pretty good sounds good everybody Let's start focusing to the next layer now. 2023 pass out. You can imagine if somebody's 2024 pass out for the next six months, if they do these kind of activities, automatically within that itself, some opportunities will come, their skills will grow and they will get the job. This is what is going to happen. It's all matter of time. But if you work for this daily dedicatedly for the next three months to six months, you will learn so much. You will get opportunities and you will get the job. The point is, if you have not done like this, so I'm now speaking to all the 2023 people. If you have not grown yourself here and you're not doing effective job hunting, you have lost one year more problems will be coming for you why because now when we look for freshers first of all we will go for 2024 freshers your time will start becoming even more harder because 2024 india may you know so many colleges so many pass out we will find all the freshers here itself but still for freshers we will look for even 2023 also so don't worry so generally past two years are considered some companies consider three 2022 be, but slowly that will start decreasing but our major focus will be 2024 and then maybe we will yes consider 2023 also okay so but now now the, the approach should be something like this you have to try again daily five hours of job hunting whatever this way you should have already done that and done like this six months with job already mil jata tha. you would have already got the job but if you did not do it if you have wasted your time spent too much in self-doubt now you are there you don't have jobs due to whatever reasons you don't blame on the market guys you don't have the job that's the outcome you don't blame it on the market fix it get the job don't cry and blame get the job get the job solve the problem solve the problem get the job figure it out you are intelligent you are smart do it don't cry about it do it if you have not done it the life becomes harder do, do you think there are no consequences of your not taking actions there will be consequences there will be problems and problems are coming and you have to now deal with it and let me promise you if you don't fix your problems right now future mates going to get even more worse and maybe you will draw the conclusion oh it mein kuch nahi ho hai, i will go somewhere else do you really want to go there after wrong actions is going to become a nightmare please understand so what exactly 2023 and the rest of the people should do first important thing yes you are supposed to do the daily job hunting for getting a job as fresher as well as an intern paid unpaid whatever you need to do that so that you can get real project exposure because you don't have any prior working experience you're still trying as fresher beginner level pay so yes we need to do this fine parallelly okay parallelly we need to start preparing same things will come you have to now put more efforts here because your time is running even more tighter so you have to maybe work double the time 2024 walo maybe they will not take it seriously of daily putting five to seven hours but you are already running late one year in the market you would have to put this more time so that you can finish so much of more things here okay and parallelly guys once you get some good knowledge in this area at least so that you can start building up your own projects 
you can start understanding how these things happen, how the technology is applied, how to do basic coding. If you start understanding this everything properly, then you should explore more job opportunities. Once you get some decent knowledge here, you should find for guys. Dekho, ye to continuous chal hai. But what if this is not happening for you? Sitting and crying is not the solution, right? We need to come up with a solution. So there are other options which are simpler options for you to work. Other working options. Which are those other working options? Maybe the point is you got some knowledge here. With this knowledge, you can work here. If you don't have this knowledge, you cannot work on these ones. You can take up working for non-profit organizations. You can take up working for, okay, let's say open source projects. You can take up working as freelancers. But in order to do these things, you need to have some good knowledge in this area. Without this, you will not be able to get these options. Guys, what are these options? Here, not very strong hiring process is there. If you hunt it from internet, you can still get some possibility and you can do these things. No hiring required or like, okay, not strict hiring required. So your approach should be, Okay, how do I really get these opportunities? Fine, if this is taking time, slowly the market is slow, slowing down, not really giving you opportunities, but parallelly you have this, now you have more chances. You can look for freshers, interns, as well as explore on these options. Okay, by that way, more chances are there for you for creating something. And then they go, all of these things, these three options plus these two, it will get you towards, okay, how can I work on the project as early as possible? Yes, it will be taking some time. But the thing is, guys, the beauty of all this, you understand? If you start working on these projects, immediately you put that in your resume. Maybe, guys, they might not pay you. But if you are working on these projects, you can put it into your resume and saying, I am an experienced working professional. And you already know, market says, if you have some experience, we will consider you better than any other fresher. So you're always like you have a bigger chance where you're calling yourself, hey, I'm an experienced professional having, let's say, eight months, 10 months, one year, whatever. But you're working on that. Parallelly, as you're working on that, you put it into your resume, call yourself experienced professional in all of the social platforms and then do the job hunting. Don't refer yourself as an fresher. So they go, I'm not saying okay, work, look for only these and six months. Tak is pe kaam karo. No, as soon as you get a working opportunity in this, update your resume, call yourself that I am an experienced professional and hunt the internet saying I'm experienced, I'm experienced. Look for other paid opportunities. HRs will give you more openings compared to calling yourself fresher with 2023 pass out. Guys, strategy lagani padegi. It will take a few months here and there. But if you have not acted right on the right time, then there are some uh, reaction to that. And then we need to come up with a solution for that reaction. It's a tight situation. So this out of the box way is required for really solving the problem. Ho jayega. It's not challenging. If you really want a job in the IT industry, be patient, grow, find things, results will come. Okay, I think many of the guys are saying, okay, getting it 100%. I'm enabling the chat right now. What is uh, running in your mind after listening to this? Can you just put that one liner statement? Okay, so all the subscribers of the channel, ke liye we are enabling the chat. Just put a one liner statement. Okay, okay what exactly are you thinking right now after having this kind of a conversation? What is running in your mind? Can you put it into one line or a few words? Age also matters, yes. 
we'll speak about that yes age matters what are the rest of the members put in put in what are you understanding about all this okay guys guys faster faster are you listening we need hard work yes it is hard work and we need to follow the steps yes okay open sources yes all these questions will be coming abhi dhoondna padega that's what source we spoke about yesterday's right find the groups we now know sources or now we have to spend time in internet and then get the opportunities accordingly theek hai you will get the opportunities okay nice multiple members getting it देखो अभी पॉइंट इज यस एवरीथिंग इज अ क्वेश्चन हाउ टू फाइंड ओपन सोर्स हाउ टू फाइंड नॉन प्रॉफिट हाउ टू फाइंड फ्रीलांसिंग हाउ टू लर्न ऑल दीज थिंग्स एवरीथिंग इज अ क्वेश्चन नाउ एवरीथिंग यू गो टू गूगल यू गो टू चैट जीपीटी एंड आस्क हाउ टू डू दिस हाउ टू डू दिस एंड देन स्पेंड टाइम इन इंटरनेट फॉर फाइंडिंग स्टफ एंड देन थिंग्स विल हैपन सो नाइसली ओके वी आर सीइंग अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ठीक है जस्ट लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ओके चलो फाइन नाउ लेट्स गेट ऑन विद द नेक्स्ट थिंग हियर ठीक है लेट्स गेट ऑन विद द नेक्स्ट थिंग हियर कि हाउ एग्जैक्टली आगे क्या करना है लेट्स से सो फार वी हैव रीच वी आर सीइंग ओके मल्टीपल मेंबर्स रनिंग थ्रू लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टाइम मैनेजमेंट यस 12 14 आवर्स ऑफ एफर्ट विल नीड टाइम मैनेजमेंट एंड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ठीक है चलो लेट्स स्टॉप दिस कमेंटिंग राइट नाउ एंड कंटिन्यू विद द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ सिस्टम ओके हाउ टू मेक प्रोजेक्ट वी ऑलरेडी सेड राइट डे 4 पे वी विल डिस्कस डे 4 पे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग दैट okay fine now let's speak further things so so far we have these many techniques now what will start happening guys these all dekho 2023 pass out from your pass out time till today you should have already completed a majority of that and that is what guys all the 2024 pass out people you try to go through this path in the next coming 6 months to 8 months to 1 year in front of you you will definitely find some or the other opportunity and get in okay now guys those who are late already in the process they have to work more harder but ho jayega not a problem okay now 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 comes the question what about the previous guys 2022 2021 or earlier right i'm telling you guys for all the 2022 people dekho 2024 pass outs are very new in the market yesterday also we asked the poll around 20% people said they are 2024 so maybe in next coming few months more 2024 will come till the time 2024 crowd comes in the market for job hunting 2022 people still have chance for getting a job as freshers but as soon as a few more months pass next 3 months 4 months 6 months slowly fresher opportunities entry level opportunities for 2022 will gradually start coming low okay it will start coming low that is going to happen within few months and i think all the other members of 2021 or maybe earlier you are already realizing ki if you are trying as fresher hardly any interview calls are coming because that's how the market works the passage of time has an impact in hiring and all these things okay now comes ke how do we solve this okay what do we do when we are let's say all these areas they go first of all whether you are following whatever this approach fresher and internship gradually this will start reducing so that means you cannot try for these approaches your primary focus should be yes how i can get nice knowledge as early as possible because without nice knowledge no other technique is going to work for you so if you have not done any preparation or training so far it's going to get a very nightmare journey please understand that you have to be good otherwise scary times are ahead of you because bahut time already ho gaya fresher ke liye market mein will not be giving you opportunities and this is going to get a problem for you if you don't have knowledge plus time is also passing by life is going to get even more tougher so guys please understand 
यू हैव टू लर्न दिस एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल अभी कुछ भी करो डेली के सिक्स आवर्स एट आवर्स टेन आवर्स पुट बट यू हैव टू ग्रो योर नॉलेज ऑल दीज अदर पीपल इफ यू हैव बिकॉज गाइज ऑब्वियसली क्वेश्चन आता है think think from interviewer perspective if i am in it company and i am the interviewer you come with a resume and your resume says i am 2022 pass out 2021 pass out my obvious question is what were you doing since past 2 years okay now dekho you might have your story ki i was working in a non it background this that and blah 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 but guys think from the company perspective i need people who can do good coding I don't want people who can tell me emotional stories and family dramas. I need people who can work. I will hire only those people who can work. So when you say in the past two years I did not train myself, immediately it's a red flag. I don't want to hire this guy because you have not even learnt anything. You have your family drama. I don't even want to interview such people because two years. क्या किया भाई? If you want a job in IT now, trying as a fresher, even if. we call you for interview and if you say i don't have good knowledge about these things i never did good coding practice come on it's so such a wastage of time we feel oh such guys are not good those who cannot even work on improving when they don't have job these things don't need you to hire you can learn these things by your own self and if you cannot do that that means you're not really the right fit for that job so please i am telling you if you are belonging into these categories and you are not skilled future is going to be even more harder so your top priority should be how do i gain this knowledge because you go in for any interview and if you don't have a knowledge people will not even listen to you and it is going to get into crisis my friend please don't cause yourself that problem if you really want job in it start working on these five eight pillars it's really required okay fine but along with while you are working on these pillars trying the job as freshers and interns is not going to work out for you so your immediate focus should be all these previous people your immediate focus should be okay i want to get these because your hiring ka zyada strict criteria is not there maybe even they are not going to pay you uh, certain uh, like salary and stuff like that so it's easy to get hired for these kind of things so if you can spend some time yes daily job hunting is also required i'm not saying only prepare do job hunting but you already know that fresher and interns pay you're not getting much opportunities so do the job hunting in these areas spend some time and guys as soon as you get yourself a job here update your resume ki i am a experienced person and then hunt for the actual paid job don't wait for this completion as soon as you get some opportunity here okay guys if you feel nahi yaar i still want to try as a fresher fine go ahead trying like that but still for the next 2 months if you don't get any calls also that means there is something really wrong right if you're not getting calls easy way is to say market is bad but guys it's not bad hiring is still happening companies are still picking people linkedin page uh, i i know i am working in companies there are people leaving the job we have open positions we need to fill that with good people so rotation is happening hiring is going on don't blame on the market ke market is hard we need to look at it with a positive mindset ke okay how do i get it not give excuse for your failures those who come up with excuses nothing will happen in their lives you understand that right you cannot cry and blame and give excuses my friend change karna padega now we are discussing what is going to work think about it but if something is not working for you don't keep repeating the same thing again and again try to improve try to use your intelligence you are smart don't act dumb if something is not working since past 3 months 6 months you are doing something if it is not working maybe that is wrong maybe that needs an improvement maybe you have to do something better you need to ask some serious questions to yourself sochna padega my friend okay so now this is the approach that i am suggesting initially maybe you spend some time maybe you have already spent some time and if you are getting interview calls with fresher and intern fine go ahead getting it <laughs> okay if you are getting it wow wonderful get it crack the job get in 
बट अगर नहीं आ रहा है इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग इंटरव्यू कॉल्स दैट मीन्स देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विथ योर अप्रोच एंड देन यू हैव टू गेट इन टू दिस लेयर try to look for these opportunities and as soon as you get an opportunity call yourself as experienced person update your resume and start applying at other paid jobs saying i am experienced experience experience 0 to 1 year of experience say 1 year of experience bolke sab jagah apply karna shuru kar in the 1 year you can put in ke i have trained myself like this i am working on this freelancer projects companies might say hey but this is non profit this is open source this is freelance we don't consider this अरे वो बात की बात है फर्स्ट गेट इन इंटरव्यू टॉक कॉन्फिडेंटली विद एच आर आई हैव नॉलेज एंड आई कैन प्रूव इट टू यू गिव मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी गेट इन विथ कॉन्फिडेंस एच आर विल बी वी वॉन्ट गुड पीपल सो इफ यू आर गुड इवन इफ दीज थिंग्स आर देर बट इफ यू कॉन्फिडेंटली से वी माइट बी लाइक ओके चलो बुलाते हैं यार बिकॉज बंदा इज साउंडिंग प्रिटी कॉन्फिडेंट बिकॉज यू आर ऑल अ जूनियर लेवल जीरो ईयर्स एक्सपीरियंस वन ईयर्स टू ईयर्स थ्री ईयर्स एवरीबडी इज जूनियर ठीक है while you are in the junior time we are okay to do some compromises in our hiring process theek hai if you are good <laughs> if you are good we are okay to do that so guys dekho now first you need to start doing this then update your resume as experience update resume as experienced and then hunt okay kuch na kuch aane lagega okay now let me tell you in the market there is another solution which might work for some of the members in the market as this time is passing by and let's say you are not able to get this or you got it but still you are not getting further opportunities because market is saying this is like this that is like that let me tell you in the market there are paid working opportunities okay what does this mean paid working opportunities you have to pay money from your pocket and then you get a working job in some company without interview and any process but you have to pay some money from your pocket then you will get these working opportunities and these companies they will give you nice offer letter experience letter everything my point is if you can pay then this kind of option is available if you cannot pay not available so it depends it's like if you want to go from hyderabad to bangalore if you can go via flight you will take a flight ticket but if you say no i want to go via bus you will go via bus if you want to go via train you will go via train your mood is with you if you say no no i cannot spend uh, 5000 in taking a flight it is too much rather i will get a 1000 rupees ka bus ticket your choice your rules but flight will take you quickly there bus will take overnight there this is what it is this is our approach but if you can pay you can have this put as a experience in your resume and then try as an experienced person faster way of getting to the destination if you cannot pay slower way is also available getting to the destination it completely depends how you want to crack this but there are ways i will suggest if if you are looking for the, how do you find these kind of working opportunities and get more details about it i would simply suggest okay there is some area in hyderabad called as amirpet amirpet in hyderabad okay i would say ki if possible may maybe online check some Mm, training centers here in hyderabad and call them up and try to discuss ki are there any working opportunities i would further suggest ki at least for one week one week travel here to hyderabad amirpet come stay in a hotel for one week and then go there and talk to people there are a lot of students here in amirpet amazing technology training is happening there great knowledge is being shared plus you can discuss about these working opportunities and that will open a lot of doors for you at least for one week or let's say one weekend aa jao saturday sunday or during the day someday travel here and then try to discuss you will find there are lot of job seekers training learning and it's a complete different kind of a environment there okay where you will learn where you will find where you will discuss these things and you will get some opportunities by talking to people they will say okay i'll give you this number 
talk to institutes, talk to people who are available there. Lot of students, lot of job seekers will be there. Once you start speaking, you will start getting opportunities. If you say, no, 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 I don't want to travel here. Maybe online may check the phone numbers, try to call and let's see what works out. But I'm telling guys, even if it is a bit late for you guys, don't worry. There are ways to get into the IT industry. You can go for this. If nothing is working, you have to further get into this approach. And this will give you all the experience of the project, of the offer letter, everything. You can put all of them in your resume and call yourself as experienced person and then get further working opportunity. So market is always saying, right, we hire experience, no fresher, experience, no fresher. This is how with these strategies, you can convert yourself and say, I am an experienced person. And one tip I will give, as soon as you have done at least one internship anywhere, don't call yourself a fresher anymore. Remove that label of fresher from you. OK? As soon as minimum one year of internship, whatever, duration also does not matter. If you have done at least one internship, don't call yourself fresher. Your statement should be in your resume having four months or six months of internship experience. Call yourself with that term experience. Remove the fresher and apply everywhere, wherever zero to one year of experience is being asked for. And say, I am an experienced person. So try to leave this label of fresher aside. Go ahead more with using the term experience. These are the ways by which you can get positioned in a better manner. Yes. Dunna padega, hard work is required. But guys, if you don't do this thing, you already know market may, it's already getting harder, tougher time, and some of you are already struggling. Okay. So, guys, let's put another poll and let's see how much is your current understanding. Okay. Let's put another poll. Okay. How confident you feel now? Okay, let's say five, four, three. Chalo, ek aur dalte, two bhi dal dete. <laughs> okay, how confident you feel now after knowing these techniques? Mm. Hard work is there. If you don't have good knowledge, let me tell you. If you don't have good knowledge, uh, these all below openings are not, th these things will not work for you. If you don't have good knowledge, this will also not work. Without good knowledge, this will also not work. So in order to do that, you have to get some decent good knowledge here. Now guys, it's just like a puzzle. Okay. If you move this piece, then other piece will have its own impact. So it's a puzzle. You solve this, then you solve this, then you solve this, then you solve this, and then you get the job. If you cannot solve this, then there will be some other impact there. So if you cannot grow in these skills, these things will not work for you. And if it doesn't work for you, you will be stuck at this layer itself. More time will be gone. Internship uh, opportunities, fresher opportunities will also start slowing down. So there will be consequences. It's just a game. OK, it's just a game. <laughs> and it will all have consequences. If you do something, consequence. If you don't do something, consequence. You can sit at your home for next one year and just apply, apply and say, I'm not getting job market is hard. No, that's not the problem. The problem is the market game has completely changed in the past one year. New freshers are there. You are outdated. You are not skilled. You are not hunting. You are not looking for opportunities. That game has changed. You're playing the wrong game. Job hunting has changed. OK, with phases, with time. Uh, you have to improve, you have to change because every single month that gets passed without you having the job will have impact in your job hunting. And you have to accordingly figure out a new approach. Okay, fine. We see 75% are pretty confident and 18%, the four and five, I consider it's wonderful. Okay, four and five, agar, if you have that confidence level, maza aega. Take it like a game, solve it. Darna nahi hai, we have to solve it. Strategize karte, brain is there, you are smart, figure it out, let's make it happen. Okay, fine, chalo. Let's discuss a few more things which are major concerns for some of the people. Okay? Dekho, guys. Few things. 
there were some questions ke if we are bsc or just let's say bachelors bsc bca these kind of people so generally how the approach happens is people complete their bachelors after that they take masters maybe msc mcs mca whatever masters kuch bhi master degree karte hai okay generally this is how people get in they complete this they complete masters and then they try to get into the it industry okay let me say one thing if you are a recent this pass out okay and you're just trying as a fresher or an intern okay there are some mncs they specifically give opportunities or there are some it companies not just mncs other companies specifically they create some kind of enrollment programs for these people itself okay recently i heard about wipro is doing it infosys is doing it so where they focus even if you are a btech they don't even bring you in that program so that means there are companies in the market who are saying ki only for these people we have they have created some kind of an approach theek okay? hai a program is there with paid money salary and everything wipro is doing it infosys is doing it so you need to find yes there are companies which can give you opportunities okay plus let's say at the same time if you are guys if you are a 2023 pass out of this i'm always saying guys if you put this plus experience then market is going to consume you they don't care whether you are masters or btech or whatever what does this mean if you can put i am a bsc or bca whatever parallelly you put since past 6 months i am working for this so now i am an experienced person so then you will be called for interview this experience let's say bcs plus 2 years of experience will be getting better pay compared to masters fresher so but yes along with this you need to have some experience to show via either this approach or this approach but if you can show that kind of experience via working via these ways along with your graduation yes you will be given better value compared to masters ka fresher person so yes that's how it is my one of the suggestion will be even if you are doing masters right now Yeah, continue doing it, but don't include it in your resume. My suggestion will be include that you are a bachelor's this BCS BCA with some experience. Market will give you more interview opportunities, and you will be given interview calls, and you will crack the calls. But you need to have something like this. So my suggestion will be hide the masters. Even if you are doing masters right now, hide it. Don't highlight it in your resume. Say that I am a bachelors with certain experience you will get more interview calls compared to calling yourself as a master of freshers because these people when you say that means you are already good in these skills and you have already some project exposure so then these guys are given more value compared to masters so my suggestion will be along with this try to get some experience and then hunt it in the market that i have experience you will get a better value than masters and maybe after 2 years you can decide oh now i want to add my masters also in my resume and my linkedin later on you can add that and remove this 2 years or you can say parallelly ye bhi kar raha tha and master was also in parallel happening so this will be my suggestion in fact this approach will work better than the other one <laughs> master ka fresher is still going to be a fresher who will still be struggling for interview calls and everything theek okay? hai because knowledge is not there that's the main reason okay so and yes masters is required in the long run some companies some countries might have visa requirements uh, where they say no just with bsc or bca you are not eligible so btech generally is one plus year right so btech is one year more than these guys so some countries have a visa requirement where btechs qualify but these guys don't qualify so they need to have a masters degree so to have that kind of education so yes master degree in a long run is going to be valuable for you 
सो डोंट अज्यूम के मास्टर डिग्री का काम नहीं आएगा ये इट विल बी वैल्यूएबल वीजा रिक्वायरमेंट सम कंपनी फॉर प्रमोशन ऑल्सो मास्टर्स विल बी रिक्वायर्ड सो इट विल बी कंसिडर्ड इन अ लॉन्ग रन बट फॉर गेटिंग एन एंट्री there is a smarter way to get in later on yes i would highly suggest all these guys to do a masters maybe distance master kuch bhi it will have value for you okay btech walon ke liye thoda sa straight forward it gets through btech can later on mtech and all you can do it uh, based upon your need but with btech you can definitely get entry and that is fine so that is the first question which people were putting in the chat how graduation works and how this master things will be balanced theek okay? hai Anybody who is doing masters, you should try for this approach. Better chances will be there. ठीक है? And if you don't have time, maybe start preparing and parallelly take masters also. So education be continue करो and parallelly do the job hunting and preparing on these skills. That is more important. Okay. So along with your masters, prepare on these skills and while you are doing your masters, parallelly get the job and then you can navigate. So take that. Parallelly hunt for the job. Don't waste time. Time is very precious. Don't lose it. Okay. So there are approaches. Okay, fine. Now somebody asks a question: Ki age, impact of age. Guys, this is for real. Your age will become a problem for your hiring. Okay. Somebody, let's say, says, "I am a twenty." What? Somebody says, "I am a twenty." 18 pass out or 20 19 pass out or 20 20 pass out right so that means 4 years 5 years 6 years 4 this is 5 years old person and then this is 6 years old person now just try to think you have to be very clear what role you are applying for what role are you applying for are you trying to compete with other freshers interns or via these any of these approaches are you trying to compete with somebody having 3 years 4 years experience because it depends upon that your age based upon your pass out if you are let's say belonging in these categories having like 4 years of age difference and if you are trying like a fresher or an intern companies will be very hesitated to hire you even 2020 2019 2018 okay let me tell you the re uh, honest reason here and guys you should be able to logically understand emotional okay uh, nothing will happen like logically understand if people have bigger age you will get into the job let's say if everything goes good yes you have got a job and you are as a fresher or an intern in a company and just imagine next to you there is another fresher or an intern who is let's say 2024 or 2023 pass out so you got the job plus that other guy also got the job let me tell you what happened since past 10 plus years i am doing appraisal process high discussion bonus discussion i know how people are i know what you will say as soon as this happens your first appraisal discussion where the bonus and salary hikes are happening you will come and say are i am uh, like uh, my age is like this i have family dependencies okay uh, i am taking a home loan i am getting married you will come up with all your family drama and then you will say give me a better hike because my financial situations are very hard because for freshers and interns you need to understand freshers and interns ko accordingly the salary scale will be there it doesn't matter on your age freshers and interns ka there will be a salary scale we will pay them as per their salary scale whatever that package might be let's say if that package is 4 lakh package as per their scale for lakh even if you have 10 years of age difference but you are a fresher we will give you 4 lakh only we will not give you more you messed up in your life there is a age gap with you why do you want to bother the it companies we hired you like a fresher we hired you like an intern we will pay you only that much package 
but human psychology wise you will say no i have bigger needs i have this and that but if your manager comes back and says no no but we cannot give you bigger hike we will give you as per the fresher scale you will take it in a negative manner you will get negative you will say no this is like this manager is like this it company is like that and hrs know it it companies know it that's where we don't hire people with age gap you will cause problems you will cause problems it's a human nature you cannot change that nature it's a human nature so we don't hire age difference wale people right now you might say no 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 i will not cause but you will cause that's a human nature and let's say whether everything with manager or company is good you will start causing problem to the other freshers who are there in the team who are juniors than you you will be like come on i am age wise bigger than you how can you talk to me like that all that drama will come up on the floor they will be like come on this person is not having knowledge you can imagine 2024 2023 might have better knowledge than you compared to your age and when they show that you will try to dominate it with your age ke come on i am senior how can you talk to me like that my idea is valuable even though they are right you will suppress them that is bad for the team culture then they will leave the company go somewhere else where they will find or your manager has to then take actions against you but please understand these are serious problems with age difference if you are applying for a role where there is a huge gap versus you versus the person working it is going to hesitate you to hire no matter how good your skills are so you now you need to think what role i am applying and who i will be parallelly working with with this role in the companies and accordingly you try to hunt for the right position so if you are this don't try for fresher and intern problems will be there you have to try maybe with some role which you can work parallel to somebody having maybe around 3 or 4 years of experience how to do that wo figure out karna padega maybe you speak with more hrs on linkedin network with them connect with them try to talk to them what should i do what should i not do and then more and more ideas will start coming maybe you look for roles ke development nahi maybe kind of a senior developer role okay maybe you can say i did lot of parallel projects year and year parallel you start building up those projects and compete with a person having a different experience segment that will open bigger opportunities for you or start targeting ke bhai i want to get to a scrum master role or a senior level role so not a very junior wala you have to accordingly position which role you want to target if you are targeting a role where there is a age difference it will hesitate to even shortlist you and give you an interview call okay that is going to happen so please accordingly thoda socho yahan pe ki which will work for you and then don't just take my words for it think logically you will understand here yeah, that is the truth and then i would suggest talk to more hrs on linkedin connect with hrs explain your thing explain ki whatever your uh, duration is and all talk to them what solutions are there how i can get into it industry when you talk to 10 hrs when you talk to 20 hrs maybe something ideas will start coming accordingly you figure out dekho give up karke baithna is not the option anyways right so something figuring out but for that speak more with the hrs something will come but as far as i feel you have to be very careful what role you are targeting and if there is a huge age gap between you versus that role there will be concerns where companies might hesitate to shortlist you and interview you also and i told you the real problems which i have seen it happening and it will happen and companies and hr knows that it will happen so they are hesitated to do the rest of the process okay you might be a good person but average dekhte rahe duniya dekhte hai and we have seen the world and that's where these kind of conclusions are there okay fine okay fine now one last question which is really required for all this people will have this i am from a non it background kaise chalega bhai i am from a non it okay how will things work out let me just clarify this ke your Oh. i have seen people from mechanical background from electronic background 
from civil background having a very successful IT career. Okay, in terms of money, in terms of position, in terms of hikes, I have seen this happening. Okay, your your approach should be so yes you can make a career you can come in it it welcomes you if you are good if you are skilled everything is wonderful your immediate focus should be all these guys who are part of this in the system your immediate focus should be uh, how do i start working upon these skills parallelly yes the way based upon your year of passing you look for the same things whatever we discussed if you are a very 2024 and 23, first you look for these kind of roles. 24 and 23 people first look for these kind of roles. After that, if you're crossing more, then you go ahead exploring for these kind of roles. And then you further explore these other kind of roles. Same journey, se jao, no problem. Just the thing is, try to position yourself. Ki I am really good in my technical skills. I have done courses. I have knowledge self project development i have all of that and accordingly i am trying to get in okay another quick tip i will share in your resume don't really highlight that i am a mechanical person simply call yourself maybe a bachelor okay uh, whatever bsc or masters throw a degree may try to avoid writing this in your resume ke electronic hai, civil hai, mechanical hai. If you write just bachelor's or master's, something like that, maybe people will assume that you are from the IT. At least this will help you in getting shortlisted. I'm not saying we should hide. Once you are in interview, if they ask you a question, then you say, I am from this electrical and mechanical and civil. Because don't try to say, hey, I'm not from IT. That is where I cannot answer this. They will be like, Bhai, <laughs> okay. So don't give that kind of a reason. You have to grow your knowledge and compete with, yes, as IT education itself. But in your resume, if you can avoid mentioning these terms, avoid that so that at least resume based shortlisting will happen. And then they will call you for interview. You proactively don't tell to the HR that I am not from the IT background. You grow your knowledge to justify that I have same knowledge like IT people. And then in interview, most of the HRs will assume that you are from IT itself because you're trying for IT. But later, if they ask you a question, then you say, I am from electronics, but I have good knowledge and you have already seen my knowledge. And then that is going to still work out for you. Okay? So avoid it in your resume, get shortlisted. You don't tell them, let them ask you. And second thing is, yes, when you submit the documents, anyways, you will be giving these uh, everything. But the documentation part will be the final part when offer letter is going to be issued to you. And there, if the HR says, hey, come on, but you're from mechanical, we said this is for only for BTEX, but you can say, hey, but based upon my knowledge, you have already seen how good I am, right? And then since company has spent that much time in interviewing you, shortlisting you, they might say, okay, fine, but knowledge is good. So let's go ahead hiring this guy. Okay? But initial step may don't give them a reason for rejection. So I am suggesting maybe in your resume, don't include this term as it is okay i think some very strong points which are required for shortlisting we discussed today we wanted to pick up some topics about resume also but we will be doing that tomorrow okay i would say it's already 9 40 we will take the attendance we will close the day but the major thing for all you members should be Come up with your strategy about what you should do next. Something which I said right now, if you are able to relate with it, immediately take corrective actions. If something you need more time to think, I would say, think about it. Spend next two, three days in analyzing whatever I said. Is it making sense? What can I do? What can you do? How can you change the direction? And come up with your next strategy about how you should navigate. Guys, they go. If your old plan is not working, don't stick with it. It will be concerns. Come up with a new plan and make it work. Okay. And guys, of all the session notes and everything, we have a lot of information. Those who mark the attendance and who are very consistent, we will be sharing the material with them. Okay. So please mark your attendance and then we will be closing the day. Guys, are you getting it? Okay. Put your put maybe a one-liner comment about what core 
good understanding you got as part of today's session guys okay put it here meanwhile i will share you the attendance okay put a one liner comment here okay a lot of important things we discussed but you have to process it think about it and then you make your decision about what do you feel should be your next step and take that action if something is not working please don't keep repeating it okay here's the attendance <clears throat> okay let me give you 306 members marked the attendance yesterday so let me give you today's attendance link also okay yes yes i will share the attendance link meanwhile you just put it into this chat yes i'm feeling your observations okay feel very strongly smart work job hunting in a smart way okay a path to get hired let's sort of think about it and take actions and as those who are taking these actions now they are getting job day one wala good system today discussion good system accordingly finalize your strategy tomorrow resume banayenge fourth day day number four we are going to make a project without you getting hired you can start working on a project and include that project in your resume right now itself okay as a beginner also we can do that and then we will be taking care of those things and then further day five aega, how to crack the interview and five day full solution which will help you in getting job okay okay chalo nice nice multiple members are commenting their thoughts through pretty good let me give you the attendance link okay so i will just lock the chat so that uh, the attendance link do not get okay code for today is 5555 five, five, five. And here is the link team. Okay, please take it up, guys. Please mark your attendance. I will share this into our WhatsApp group as well. Okay, stop presenting. I will share this into our WhatsApp group as well. Guys, if you are not part of the WhatsApp group, please join. Code for today is 5555. And here is the attendance link attendance for today okay and i will paste this link in our youtube guys sort of smartly socho and take care about your own self life might have put you into a tough situation right now but uh, we cannot just sit and blame and cry we need to figure out a way and solve the problem here okay so join this whatsapp group okay join this whatsapp group and thank you everybody for your time have a nice tuesday see you guys tomorrow evening 8 pm back again okay chalo thank you everybody take care of yourself have a nice day see you guys later chalo 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 everybody nice to see you nice to see you keep it up and wish you get a job quickly thoda intelligently sochna padega guys let's take it and let's make it happen Okay, chalo guys, give a quick thumbs up if you are ready to exit the call. Give a quick thumbs up, a few hearts, and then we will be closing. Nice, nice, nice. Chalo, there is a 10 second delay, so hopefully my voice will come to you a bit later. <laughs> okay, everybody. <clears throat> put it up, put it up, put it up, guys. If you can hear my voice right now, put it up. Nice okay yes 100 persons hearts and all the very best tomorrow resume building pe kaam karte. and that's going to be also very valuable topic for tomorrow and uske baad project hai, and then interview cracking five day solution okay chalo thank you everybody have a nice day see you guys later chalo thank you everyone take care bye 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 team thank you all take care